Hey, uh, a couple of you uh, have been asking for an instructional video on uh, Gregory Allen Isakov's uh, stable song. Um, it's been a couple of years since I put that out, but I figured I'd uh, give you guys a little explanation. Um, it's a really simple song. Um, the main chords are a F major 7th, which is um, you leave the... Uh, as opposed to a regular F, you leave the bottom or the uh, high E string open. And then you're going to go first fret on the uh, B string. And second fret on the G. Third on the D. And then I go third fret on the uh, A string as well. But that's it's uh, kind of up to you. And so that's a chord you should make. Oh, capo 2 by the way. And then it just goes back, uh, a lot of it's back and forth between a F minor, or F major 7th, excuse me, with that hammer right there on the, uh, on the uh, G. And in between that and a, a C add 2, which is, um, it goes in between that and then to just a regular C and then a C add 2 is technically you mute the top E string but I play that just for a bass a G bass and then uh, yeah that's basically the intro and most of the song show it uh, you're just hammering on that G string as you're strumming, so it should kind of sound like this. Remember when the songs were just like prayers, like gospel hymns that you call in the air. So, uh, in the verses, it's all the same chords. It goes C. Um, so remember when the songs were just like prayers. And then back to that F major seventh, and uh, and then it goes from C uh, to C add two to A minor, and then back to F major seventh. So it's like gospel hymns that you call in the air. And throughout, um, if there's any break at all, there's uh, you just kind of hit the bottom two, the E and the B. Right. Um, that's kind of just a little theme that he has throughout the song. Uh, in the choruses, um, it's F major 7th to C, then back to F major 7th again. And so it goes. Ring like silver, ring like gold. And then back to C. Ring out those ghosts. And then it's kind of the same as in the chorus because it goes from C to uh, C add 2 to A minor to F major 7th again. So it goes, ring out those ghosts on the Ohio. And then in between, um, in between the verses and the chorus, um, it kind of varies in in uh, length. I don't know how many bars off the top of my head, um, but if you just play the intro um, in between, you should be fine. So after the chorus, going into the bridge, I think it's a little um, it's a little shorter. But uh, uh, so the belly of the beast saw the sword that fell. Some C 
bridge is obviously a little bit of a change up. Um, it starts with an E minor. You all should know what an E minor is. And uh, back to that F major seventh. And then uh, to a C. And then a quick, uh, just a couple strums on the F major seventh. So it should go. Twice, and then the second time you end on a G, though. So, watch the world spinning waves like machine. And then uh, back into verse two, and then you do a bridge instrumental. Um, you know, that's kind of long instrumental. I believe it played through the bridge. Excuse me, twice. Um, yeah, and that's basically the whole song. So yeah, if you got any questions, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and have a good one.